hi guys welcome to another interesting tutorial i'm yinky and today i'll be showing you how to apply beads on your fabric this is a very lovely tutorial because it's beginner friendly and i'll be showing you step by step and the tools and the materials you need to get this done so here in this tutorial we have different types of beads but here i'll be using a broken glass bead as an example and i'll be showing you how you're going to pick all those beads the what you need this beads has been applied on this material on this um, eight pieces blouse you can see this lovely blouse on the screen you can see how i applied it i first of all make a bias line and applied it on the bias line so here you have this type of needle is the needle we use to apply beads so it has numbers so we have different sizes so so those varying sizes depends on the size of your beads so the greater the number the tinier the needle so here we have number 12 this is where they write the number this is number nine so i'll be using number 12 for my glass broken glass beads because they are tiny beads so what you can use you can use this nylon thread we have different types of thread and these nylon threads are also in varying sizes so this is nylon thread so depending on how big your 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 beads are so you are going to choose the type of thread that fits in but for this purpose of tutorial i'll be using this normal thread we use for sewing so this is the sewing thread is what i'll be using to apply my beads so i'll be using color black because the foundation where i will put this bead is black color so color black will, will fit in very well and um, you can see the ones that i have done so here i make a line and the spacing is just like half of an inch spacing so i'll just make that line with half of an inch spacing and it will be a slanted line like a parallel line then pick your beads one after the other pick your beads one after the other i told you i'm using size 12 needle pick your beads one after the other i'm picking like five beads five broken beads so i have five here so after i have picked the five i'm going to pass it in through so just when you are starting you just start from the point you, you your parallel line starts and from the point that it ends you are going to come out and the next line look at the next line i'll come out at the next line this is a parallel beading so i'll just come out at the next line like so so after we have different types of forms and shapes when you are when when you are beading so but this type is just like a parallel line it's very suitable and very easy for a beginner if you don't have the idea of beading at all so from the next line that i started i'll pick another bead one two three four and five so after i have done that i'll pass it in and place my needle inward and come out on the next line so it will follow that process then i'll continue again five beads and start on the next line again one two three four five like I told you, I'm placing five five. So make sure the numbers are uniform. If your numbers are uniform, you are going to have the same, you are going to have a uniform style of beading. You can see the ones I have done. The spacing, make sure it is uniform. Make sure the spacing is uniform. If you are not used to it, make sure you put a chalk to guide you. So it's because I'm used to this, that's why I'm no more putting a chalk. So I have I know how the spacing should be so for my work to be faster that's why you cannot see any chalk anymore it was when i started just to show you what i'm doing that's when i use chalk so i'll just go ahead and it will follow that pattern i'll just follow that pattern five five beads and make sure it is a parallel line it's a parallel line so you come in on that as you are coming in you are placing your needle to go and start on the next line so that's just the logic so 
so my starting line make sure you get that starting line very well if you get your starting line and your ending line very well the beads will have a uniform kind of um, alignment so i'll just follow the same process the same process beading is not something difficult so some so some some tutors made it look as if it's something serious and uh, just make sure it is tight your beading is not loose it is tight and it is uniform if it is uniform you don't have any problem and if, for it to be uniform you can first of all use a chalk to follow all the lines use a chalk to follow the lines until you master it so after you have mastered it you can go ahead and do it even without a chalk without any line you can go ahead and do it and it will be perfect and uniform so beading is something you can do on your own by yourself even with ordinary online tutorial you can you are good to go so i'll just go ahead and do this on all my lines of bias and um, i'm going to have a very beautiful outcome so this is the outcome of the beading after i have beaded it finish you can see this is very very beautiful this is very very beautiful i beaded the front and the back like i told you there is a bias line so on the bias i just beaded on the bias so this is um, a very beautiful piece and i love the outcome so i think we have already come to this to the end of this tutorial and uh, i'm going to see you in my next tutorial i also have a beaded tutorial on uh, how to use sequin and uh, crystal beads so i'll the link will be attached in the description box how you can use a sequin and a crystal bead to to embellish a dress so i will link the this video the video on this um, in the description box so that you'll be able to watch that as well if you have learned anything in this tutorial please don't forget to give it a thumbs up like and also share this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so as lots of amazing tutorials are with you on this channel now see you in my next video until then stay blessed